Hey guys, Jerry here, and I'm going to be doing a little bit different of a video today. So, you're looking at the back of my computer, and I get the question, why do you not record PS3 gameplay a decent amount? And I'm going to go ahead and show you why. So, here's the back of my computer, and this is how I record gameplay for my 360. Now, as most of you know, I am a PC gamer. Recording games on the PC is incredibly simple. It's just software. You don't need anything more. But when it comes to recording consoles, you need some hardware. You need a capture card, an HD PVR. You need something like that. I use a Blackmagic Intensity Pro, which is just plugged into a PCI Express slot in my computer. And that would be my capture card right there. So when I record for my 360, here's my 360, I just use the HDMI in cable, plugs directly into my capture card. This records the video and the audio, and then the other HDMI plugs into my LCD, and I can see what I'm doing. Well, the audio from you know an HDMI cable into an LCD is pretty shitty. So what I use is an analog, you know, I use the analog and I plug it in my PC's sound card. So this gives me good surround sound, it goes through my computer, that's great. The problem with recording PS3 though is that you cannot use the HDMI in. You can't record off HDMI. So what you have to use to record a PS3, and the reason I'm told you can't use the HDMI is because it uses a different encryption code and the Blackmagic Intensity Pro actually blocks it. You have to use one of these. You plug it into your capture card, which I'm doing a pretty poor job out there we go and then you have to use the analog to actually record the game well this creates a little bit of a problem for me because when I record my 360 with the HDMI that also records the audio and the video straight from the HDMI freeing the analog to go through my sound card so I can hear what I'm doing well my analog is tied up to have to record the PS3 through this that pretty much means that I'm going to have to use the audio through my LCD which is so bad I just don't want to do that so unless someone can come up with a better idea that isn't getting a switch box, because I don't feel like spending, you know, fifty dollars to get an analog switch box, uh, I'm not that invested in recording a PS3. Unless someone can find a splitter that would actually work, that's why I don't record off the PS3. I've yet to find one, so it's kind of annoying that that works that way. I do like playing some games on the PS3, say Killzone and uh, Resistance, and I do plan on playing The Last of Us. I'd like to do a playthrough of The Last of Us, but. As you see, I don't really have a viable option for myself to do that. Anyway, there's just a quick rant just kind of showing you. Uh, if you do know a splitter that would actually work for what I'm trying to do, uh, go ahead and let me know. But as far as I know, there's nothing that exists that would let me do that. Anyway, that's the end of the video. A quick little rant just to answer a question that I get a decent amount. And I'll see you later.